Welcome, it's Andrew from PracticalMaker.com. Today we're going to look over how to uh, configure the BNC sensor shield. So we have a pH probe uh, as well as a basic solution which is baking soda and water and white vinegar which has a pH of around 2.4 so however when you're doing this I recommend you actually get the pH calibration solution it's not very expensive but I just don't have any of it right now so we're going to hook up the power you you can do this without a multimeter however for like the first time you use it it's much easier to use the multimeter than to use the Arduino so we're going to hook the BNC or the pH probe up the BNC connector. Done. And we're going to hook up uh, the multimeter. Now I did have um, VREF on this, however it's not needed anymore. I'm going to show you. So you can see these, this row um, of thing, of jumpers, they're positive. So you can just hook the positive output of your multimeter up to those and uh, everything will work just fine. So that's what we're going to do. To positive and then the ground just goes into the Arduino ground is fine. Now we turn on the multimeter. We have a voltage reading of 2.42 now, when you take off the, the probe, it'll actually read, well, it usually reads somewhere in the neighborhood of 4 volts, so it doesn't right now because I've been fiddling with the trim pods. So, this is your basic solution. We're going to change this so the reading, it reads 3 volts off of it. And to do that, all you need to do, there's a rough and fine adjustment or uh, like trim and slope or whatever you want to call it this is the rough adjustment this is the fine adjustment in a basic solution you turn it counterclockwise to make it uh, the voltage increase that's for the rough adjustment and you turn it clockwise to uh, make it decrease for the fine adjustment you turn it counterclockwise to uh, make it decrease and clockwise for it to increase. It really depends what you're measuring. So you can see right now we hit 3 volts. And that's really all there is to it. It's, it's not very tricky to configure. So we're going to uh, dry this off, put it in the acid solution. Now you should note that it can add, measure both acids and bases, which is kind of cool. Uh, this isn't going to be an accurate reading. I just had it in a basic solution. It hasn't been rinsed off. And pH probes need time, uh, like 5-10 minutes, to stabilize the readings. The only reason the BN, or the the basic solution was ste steady was because I had it in there before I started the video. So right now we're reading 0.951 um, <coughs> excuse me so we could actually do some cross multiplication and uh, figure out what the baking soda solution was um, Sorry here, 0.951. So 2.4 times 3 divided by 0.951 is 7.57. So it looks like the baking soda solution was pH of about 7.6, which is just about right. Round 8 ish. I didn't put very much in it, just enough to show you. So that's really all there is to configuring this in the next video. 
and I'm going to show you, like, we've configured it, we're going to look at the Arduino IDE and how you take readings uh, from it. One thing I want to point out before I go is make sure to remember uh, we have a jumper right here that may, that allows you to select whatever analog pin you want to use as your input. So just to remember that. So I hope you enjoyed the video and make sure to check out the one where we check out the Arduino IDE at work.